Where is the cabin? Okay, he must be... Okay. This must be it. He must be in here, correct? Ah, chess. Um, if it goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Ah, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm, you? Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stirk commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. All oh, those parts you have, those are Devon parts. But, hmm, this won't do. I guess Captain Stirk is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, can I ask you to go find the captain and give the parts to him? Sure, Doc. I shall do what you ask of me, sir. Um, oh, so Team Magma's gone. Excuse me, please go to the reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance... I, I almost didn't have enough money. Uh-oh. It's a secret that I was stopped at the reception because I didn't have $50. Something's gonna happen here. Did I see the... Okay. Look close, that circle is a globe. Wait, no, no, I don't want to look at the SS hand. I want to talk to him. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I order from Mr. Stone and Devon. Thank you for bringing me the case all this way. Now we can pray for our expedition at last. Uh oh, Team Magma, look out, my. Ha 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 ha! Just a moment, we'll be taking those parts. What was that? Who are your people? We are Team Magma. Our boss has need of the parts in that case, so relinquish it to us at once. Here we go, here we go, Joe! You are challenged by Team Magma Grunts. Oh, a new male? More like a new bell. Go, Grovile! Time to switch. Let's go with Victini. Slowbro doesn't. Slowpoke, I, I mean, doesn't have any water moves as of yet, and he's really low level, so. Take this, you noobish noomel. Not gonna hurt me that much. I'm flipping fire, bruh. So right now, what the heck? Critical hit, get out of here. Right now, though, Victini looks like he's our um, power hitter, like Slurpuff was for the last game. Slowpoke grew to level 7. Learn a water move, Slowpoke. How? Absurd. I was defeated by this child. This is quite disastrous. At this rate, I'll become the target of the boss's fury. My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while that future ace grunt of Team Magma makes short work of this infant. Bro, haha! <laughs> Big mistake. You are challenged by Team Magma Grunt. A Zubat? <laughs> they never learn. That's it, Mega Drain! That really didn't do anything. Try Fury Cutter. I didn't do anything either. Grovile, that's enough. Come back. Go, Sandru! Bro. What a wimpy attack. Get ready for the rock tomb. This is where I bury you. Knife. Slowpoke grew to level 8. Neato Doritos. Numel? No, we can beat him. We'll beat him with magnitude. At least I didn't get burned. Another magnitude. It 
Is like, is it random what magnitude it uses? I never, I never really understood that. Grovile grew to level 17. Could it be? Yes, I'm a child of prophecy. No. Um. How could you future Ace Grunt of Team Magma be defeated? Wh what should we do now? We must obtain that case at once. Hmm. We, I would never have po posited that a mere child would. Whatever. Uh oh. Now, here I was wondering how you could be held up in a simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you are being stim st stimmied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me your fierce determination. Meredith's pounding in my chest. Yes, I think I can see why lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed. And you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world, the land. It is a stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand. A land upon which we can stride forward. A land we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis for all group growth of all human endeavor. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of this world. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity and consequently for all life. <laughs> I suppose the concept may still be too typical for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient next time. I implore you to remember that. We are done here. That boy fearsome! Young man. Ah, wild thing, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you brought the pots from Devon. This is it. It can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor exploration. Thanks for this, and excuse me. Well, well, gosh, gosh, my gosh. That was quite the showdown we had. What do you want? I get all giddy and gooey when I see the sea. For me, Captain Stern is the number one role model. Perhaps. Perhaps. So, where do we go from here? Is there someone I can get a pass from? I would like to get that before I do anything else. Maybe this fellow? I'm in charge of creating content so far. If you like, I can create a special effect. Uh, uh. You can take picture of Pokemon during his global link, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, well, it looks like we won't be able to get the pass from here. I do not know where to go from here, though. That's a good question. This game, they really haven't... Oh, wait. Hey, that's Leisha and Allie doing a shoot over there. Are you serious? Le Leisha, let's go. I think it's Leisha. <gasps> Is that our Altaria? Hi, everybody! Alicia here in my Ontario Alley have some Slateport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun. Ali, ali, ali. Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah! Dazzling, dizzing, doldrums, defying. Dazzling, dizzing, dazzling, dizzing. Alicia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. Start. Lizzy scout me to be your next boyfriend. Lisha Ali! Alrighty, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contest. Eeny, meeny, miny. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi, have you never joined in a contest? That's just what I want to hear. Then let's get the show on the road. This is the trainer I'm going to go scout today. And his name is... 
Wild thing. When I take took a good look, I could easily see that Wild Thing is a powerful trainer with several badges of his own already. Wild Thing, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon contest all right here. Now listen up, because I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go, take these. All right, a contest pass and a Poke Block kit. Yeah, just what I needed. Oh. <sighs> Now we can make Pokey Block. Yum, 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 yum. Wild Thing story begins today. Yep, and this chapter should be titled He's Never Going to Be in a Contest. How about that? A sudden encounter of miraculous contest scouting. That's what I call it. And now, everybody out there watching, you better expect great things from Wild Thing because I do. That's it for today. Leisha's Miraculous Scouting Contest. See you all next time. Clap, clap, clap. Leisha, you're so cute. If you feel up for it, I try your hand in a contest for me, okay? T Perhaps. Look at that entourage, though. Ah, uh, should we do a contest? I guess it was quite a shock, huh? But don't mind that. Contests are really fantastic, you know? I'm sure you'll get hooked on them. I don't know how we get a Pikachu, but Gabe was telling me to get a Pikachu. Special report. We have a news update regarding the strange attack on the Oceanic Museum's director, Captain Stern, age 57, by parties on a weirdness. Now, I mean, I say about that. Just when I thought things might be over, that young boy ran into the fray, showing amazing Pokemon thing. He got into the thick of it with his team, putting those criminals or whoever they were on the run. It's Captain Stern's it's in training who reported on previously during the Pico case. We will be sure not to lose sight of this hot young here. Yes, I am quite hot. What? Yeah, okay. Oh, wild thing, could it be? Oh, could it? Are you really going to try kind of? Oh, I'm happy than gloom with the stunstone. Oh, I know the chapter story should definitely be called. My big beginning, the heart pounding contest debut. That's what I'm calling it. Oh, but if you're gonna take the stage, you gotta come here with me first. So, if you're taking a cut, there's something you have to have for me. T, I know it's sun. Sorry, truth is, you're actually the hunter trainer that I've scouted, Wild Thing. It's a really big deal, you know. What the heck is going on? You gotta say it, fate, right? T, I think you're the trainer I've seen. Oopsie, sorry, I got a little carried away, but I'm at the point where I would you like to, well, do you think, um, want to wear this costume? What? I gotta wear a contest costume? Oh, man, I am dazzling. So, so cool! Oh, wow, it's perfect for you. Eee, I just went away. Your first time on a live contest stage, about It's gonna be so, so, so awesome. I'm not even gonna blink for even a second. Phew, you look so fantastic out of it that I'm about to lose it here. You have to wear this contest costume. It'll be perfect for the contest, I promise. Oh, man. So where do I get my Pikachu? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm outie. I'll do a contest some other time in my free time. I ain't got I ain't got time for none of this stuff, yo.